Hi, Room 15. It's Mrs. Cruz. Um, it is Saturday afternoon, and it's a nice long three-day weekend. We do not have school on Monday, so you'll get your weekly homework email on Tuesday morning. Um, so let's look at first what you have assigned next week. So like I said last week, you don't have any assignments, essentially, so like no read works, uh, no science, no art, like nothing like that, but you do still have reflex lexia and IXL goals. So you're going to an email tomorrow, uh, Tuesday morning that looks just like this. Uh, it says hi room 15 because now we're not doing individual zoom. So I'm going to send you all one big email. So, uh, please make sure that on Tuesday. So today when you get this email, on Tuesday, you will come between one and three and pick up all of your stuff from school. This is really important because if you don't come at that time, then I don't get to see you. So hopefully you can come by because there is no other chance. Like I'm going to be on campus like one other day and that's it. But you can't come and pick up your stuff from my classroom. It'll be way up in the front. So please make sure that you get here on Tuesday between one and three. I will be there. Miss Noonan will be there. Miss Mona's will be there. We'll have tables out. Um, I'm making some brownies this weekend. Me and Remy are making some brownies for you guys uh, to uh, give you guys. So please make sure you're here, okay? Underneath the date, uh, there's some protocol that you need to follow. So if you're coming in a car, which you should, there's no regular pickup. Uh, you need to be here from one to three. You're gonna drive up, right? Drive up single file to where you see your child's teacher and the bag of materials. No walking up, please stay in your car. Um, you're just going to pop the trunk open. I'm going to have one bag. I'm going to throw it in the back of your trunk. And if you have anything for me, like library books, musical instruments, um, anything like that, please let me know. And then I will come grab that stuff as well. Uh, so I would love to see you guys make sure you're wearing masks. I'd love to see you guys um, on Tuesday. Underneath that is a link that you can take um, if you're needing some food this summer and you're not sure like where you're going to get it because schools are closed. You can go to this website in that link and go ahead and apply and you can get free food um, or at least close to free food most of the summer if not longer than that, okay? So underneath that, of course, you'll have the link to this video. And then um, next Friday, we have a class Zoom. We are not having Zoom on Wednesday this week because I'm gonna see you guys on Tuesday. So we will have Friday Zoom like normal this week, no Wednesday Zoom. And then um, underneath that, Miss Wandell had that video that I showed you guys on Friday. It's super cute. It has all the teachers in it, so you can check that out. And then underneath that, our last Zoom is going to be our graduation Zoom. It's going to be on Wednesday, June 3rd, which is the last day of school at 2.30. So 2.30 to 3, and we're going to do our countdown just like we normally do at the end of school at like 2.45 where we all count down and we're in the quad. And So we're going to try and kind of recreate that. Um, so that's the last, so we only have two Zooms next, Friday this week on the 29th and then our last one on the 3rd, okay? So things that you need to do this week. So again, you don't have any assignments, but you still have to be doing something. This is not summer break. You still have a week and a half of school left. So every day you should be silent reading. Every day you should be getting physical activity. And then beyond that, you have no assignments, but I still want you to practice some skills. So I still want you to work on IXL. You can work on anything you want in that program for an hour this week. Underneath that, 30 minutes per day. Technically, we don't have school on Monday, so I'm giving you a break, and you only need four days worth of Alexia, so that's only 120 minutes per week. You guys rocked it last week with Alexia, so please make sure that you're doing that again this week. This is not a break. You are not on summer yet. And then underneath that, since you only have four uh, days this week, then you're going to do four green lights on reflex, okay? Optional assignments. So if you want to do them, great. If not, that's also okay. Um, I recorded chapters 19 through 28 of Secret of Nim, so the end, till the end of the book. So if you want to see that, uh, you can listen to the videos, but there's no Google form to fill out. So if you're really just interested in the story, please feel free to do that. I'm going to be posting the link to the movie next week. So um, hopefully that'll give you motivation to finish the stories on um, finish reading them uh, for me underneath that also there's a bunch of PE videos you're welcome to do that could be part of your um, you know 60 minutes of activity per day all right uh, so we did the graduation soon we did that I did your email so those are your assignments for the week uh, let's get to the slideshow super excited we had lots of really cool um, pictures and stuff this week I loved all the landscape drawings here's Raymond's and there's his feet <laughs> he did kind of like a beachy like 
islandy kind of uh, background, which I really, really like. This is Jose's from last week. So this is his paper chain from last week. Looking good, very colorful. Chris just sent me these. So he did like a mountain range on the left and then that's his vision board on the right. Looks very cool. Looks like he wants 100,000 like followers on YouTube or something. I'm not quite sure what that is. Maybe he'll explain it to me. Looking good. Guadalupe did a really cool vision board. Look at that, how beautiful that is. Look at all those cute pictures of when she was a baby. I love it. Oh my God, so cute. And then Alex did a really cool, I like how he's got like the jellyfish and the fish on the down. It's like a whole different kind of scenes. There's mountains and river and fish. It looks so cool. Uh, Camila did a chapter 17, a uh, secret of Nim. Looks very neat. It looks like those are the mice. The smart mice versus the normal mice. <laughs> here's Cesar. So here's his cool uh, landscape drawing. And then he did his vision board. Look at that little kid. Look at that little cutie. Oh my God, he's so cute. Or is that Gustavo? I think that's you, right? I don't know. Maybe let me know. <laughs> All right, Machuca uh, added to her. That's the collage that we made at the beginning of the year in Brain Trust. So she added to it to make her vision board, which I thought was really smart. And then I really like her landscape drawing. It's so beautiful. Nisia did a really cool landscape drawing, and I love how she just wants to relax and eat. Like, that is my jam as well. Like, Nisia, I'm there with you, relaxing and eating with six feet apart, of course. <laughs> uh, Emily did a really cool vision. Drink lots of water, relax, and eat. Excellent. Good idea. And I really like her landscape drawing as well. It looks really pretty. Martine caught up on all of the different chapters of Secret of Nim. There's chapter 16, 15, chapter 14, chapter 18. And then of course he did this beautiful, he said it took him like three hours to get this done. It looks beautiful. I love it. It makes me want to go on vacation on an island. That's what that makes me do. Uh, Yoltsin did her vision for her. She wants to be a vet. She also wants to be a hairstylist and a nurse and somebody who sells shoes. So she's going to have a busy, busy life. And here's her beautiful landscape drawing with little houses on it and a little river. Here's Brianna's uh, landscape drawing. I really like the island kind of theme that you guys are going for. It's very cool. All right, here's Vanessa's. Here's her vision board and her landscape drawing. So it looks like another island. Looks very cool. I love it. And here's Angelo, so some mountain ranges, landscapes, and then he did this really cool vision board. Look at all those cute pictures of his sisters. They're so cute. I love it. Looks really cool. Right, here's some honorable mentions. Max spent 46 minutes on Lexi and 34 minutes on IXL. Nice job. Julio did 194 minutes on Lexia. What a rock star. Hugo's summer goal is to learn how to cook, have fun, and work on soccer. Lyric did 147 minutes on Lexia and four green lights on Reflex. Brooklyn finish wants to finish 10 books and learn how to cook and see her dad for her summer goal. And Angelica did two green lights on Reflex and her ReadWorks passage. Nice job. Frankie's summer goal is to survive the coronavirus. Me too. Lane's summer goal is to play outside with friends more. And Edwin did 62 minutes on Lexia and two green lights on Reflex. So nice job, you guys. Really working hard. Our GGA winners for the week are... And my slideshow is not working. Hello. Oh, there they go. Uh, GGA winners for the week are Raymond. He passed level 18 in Lexia. Nice job. Jose did an hour and 52 minutes of IXL. He did twice the amount that he needed to. That means he's super practicing. I love it. Alex worked hard on getting every assignment done this week. Kyle did 216 minutes of Lexia. What? Amazing. Cesar got every, oops, I said got ever assignment done. I mean got every assignment done. Martine did 163 minutes on Lexia, and he drew uh, all the Secret of Nim chapters, which are really cool. Vanessa got all of her assignments done, and Angela did 267 minutes and passed Lexia and does not have to do it ever again. So I thought that was really amazing. Um, Angela worked really hard this week as well as everybody else did. So awesome job, guys. I'm going to leave you guys with an amazing quote. Um, I know that we are coming to the end of the year. And you guys are probably feeling just as, I don't know, lost as I am. I'm feeling a little lost, kind of like I don't know really how to feel. And I'm sad, but I'm also excited for summer. But like I just got word that my husband's going back to work on Tuesday next week. And so that's going to kind of change like everything that like I do with Remy. Um, so I'm kind of in this like weird transition kind of stage. But so your quote for the day is, you're amazing just the way you are. So whether you got all of your assignments done this during distance learning, you got some of them done, you got none of them done, you worked hard, you didn't work hard, you struggled, you, it was easy, whatever it was, you guys did it. 
and you're almost done. And that's amazing. So you're amazing no matter what you're doing, where you are, what your situation is at home. You guys are rock stars. And I appreciate all your hard work this week, uh, this year, excuse me, this trimester, whatever. Um, and I will see you hopefully on Tuesday at 1 o'clock, 1 to 3 o'clock. And I'll see you there and you'll get all your stuff back and we'll kind of be able to have a quick conversation. So I love you guys. I miss you all. And I'll see you Tuesday at 1 o'clock. Bye.